Hey y'all, it's Vicki. And I, everything fell through this morning about what I wanted to film. I grabbed some lip glosses, but they were the wrong, the wrong ones. So I have to try to film another video tonight. Because today is the first sale of the City Beauty new shades of their lip gloss. So I am on my way to an event. It's, we have a medical clinic where I work and I, I'm on my way there to, they're having an open house and I'll be giving away some race tickets to some people. So I have to stay there most of the rest of the day except for when I go to lunch. And that's about all. I don't have on much lipstick. I just realized that. Oh, well. Y'all get over it. <laughs> if you're here just to see what shade of lipstick I'm on, then I guess I'm not doing something right. Anyway. I guess we'll talk about this video. Talk about this video. We'll talk about Tim in this video. If this will be a short and sweet. And then we'll have beauty videos. Maybe the rest of the week. I don't, I'm not sure. We'll see. So I, I said I wasn't going to talk about him unless it was something major. And I mean, this is not really, I guess, major. But it was interesting, I thought. If you haven't seen it, he went to a campground. It's like a resort campground. They also have permanent residences that are very nice. I, uh, I did not really go searching for him. But I was curious as to what the place was called. He didn't say. And I mean, that's good. But he has to know people can look it up. All I did was go to TripAdvisor, which I use TripAdvisor, and all you had to do was search on RV campgrounds for Bullhead City, and it's the first one it pop, pops up. I didn't put resort in the name or nothing. Anyway, I think that's it. It may not be, but I think it's it. If, it is, if it's not, it's, very, it's pretty close. <laughs> so that means it got more than one. Anyway, he said it was a good price. I know that it's more expensive than what he's paying now, but of course he he doesn't have a permanent place to camp at this point. So anything that would be that he could get more permanent would be better, especially with full hookups. You know, and then he could leave the camper and go travel. Well, you know, he took a tour and he was just and I mean it was a pretty nice place, but I think it was probably in line with most 55 plus parks, resorts, communities, whatever you want to call them. And, you know, it was nice. Of course, there's a wait, wait list. I think he said that there was 100 people on the wait list, so I guess he's 101. And, you know, wait lists sometimes can move pretty quick, especially if they've already found something else. Or, you know, maybe they were 52 and they put their name on the list and you know they got it they're not ready to they're not old enough yet you know there any there could be any reason why the wait list could move fast now my opinion on the place is that if if it's affordable to him i think it would be great now i don't think i could live there in the summertime i mean everybody says that in a week or two it will be 100 degrees during the day and, you know, sometimes that may come sooner. You know, I've heard of 100 degree days in Arizona in April. So, I mean, you know, if he wants to live there permanently, he needs to just, he needs to really think it out, I think. But he also needs to go to, he also needs to travel around. That may not be where he wants to be. Now, I know he's not a fan of cold weather. So if he gets up in there to Wyoming and those places, he's, you know, that's going, he needs to think about the winter because they do have a cold winter. They get a lot of snow and Colorado, I think, you know, parts of Utah gets a lot of snow. So, I mean, he has to keep that in mind. And, you know, as I said before, I wish him nothing but the best. I hope he finds something that he wants and that he stays there and, you know, because I think he does need, he needs to be grounded. He 
does, even if he's renting a spot, it's still a spot that he, that he, where he's not boondocking or whatever on someone else's land. And I think that would be good for his self-esteem. And, you know, he's always in these positive, positive, positive. Well, we all know, there's something on this lens, it's a hair. We all know, I've got to, I'm going to get me a coffee, <laughs> an iced coffee. I know that he means well. He tries to stay positive. But, you know, there are times when we're not positive or we have a setback. You know, you feel like everything's going wrong. And I know that one of the other channels did release a video of him when I, one of those times that something everything didn't go the way he wanted it to and that was one of the most you know I remember watching that video but that was one of the most realistic videos that he's ever done and you know he keeps talking about in his videos the haters the haters and this I like I said somebody told me all this I didn't watch every video but yet he says we're not he's not worried about us. If he constantly talks about us, he's worried about us. I'm not a hater. I'm just putting my, I'm just saying that I'm in the group. He may not even think I'm in the group. I don't know. But, you know, he needs to just, he needs to ignore it and just worry about himself, in my opinion. But what do I know? As I said, what do I know? And there's one other thing I wanted to talk to you about, because i got just a little bit more time, is this case in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, Micah Miller case, if you want to look it up. I'll link a couple of videos down below. If any of you have been keeping up with it or know about it, what's your opinion? Do you think the husband allegedly did the deed. Now, I know the coroner or the medical examiner has said it's suicide. But you never know. They could be paid off. Where she this happened was not... It was an hour away from Myrtle Beach. Maybe been even two hours. Okay, I'm going to cut this off for a minute. Okay, when I go to that coffee shop, I can't talk because they've got music blaring. I mean, you would think you were in the middle of middle of Myrtle Beach. So I got me a chiller from Seven Brews. Chiller. I got the medium this time. Last time I got that large, that's just too much. So it's decaf, can't handle their caffeinated. Well, I guess I could if I needed to drive forever. <laughs> That'd be what I needed because it would keep you awake. All right. What I was talking about, the Micah Miller case in Myrtle Beach. She was married to a minister. And evidently he had groomed her since she was 14. She was 30. She had filed for divorce. It looked like they had, the timeline, she had filed for divorce several times. He had filed for it, I think, one time. When I say several, maybe twice, she'd filed and then he filed one time and I don't know I guess every time they change their mind because you know she was the type that didn't believe in divorce and I guess that you know they would go backwards and forth but anyway she finally decided that she had to get out I guess and you know everything I say is alleged the court you know, you can search the court records or whatever. But anyway, she had come out, I think, the mornings at her job. I'm not sure where she was working, but I think it was a restaurant. And her tires twice were had razor blade in them. And she had... A, told her family allegedly that you know he did abuse her that he forced her to watch him have uh, 
SEX with other women. So when you really read the story, I mean, he's really not a true minister, in my opinion. If all this happened, well, then, you know, the question is, could he, supposedly when this happened, he was in Charleston, which Charleston is around three and a half to four hours from this park this in Robeson County, North Carolina. You know, I cannot get to Charleston in four hours, so, but I mean, it's, you're going through islands, so that's why it takes so long, because it is near the coast. I go, if I'm going to Myrtle Beach, I go through that county. I try not to ever have to stop in that county, to be honest with you. It is considered, I think, the most dangerous county in the state. And, you know, so I try not to stop through there. You know, and I'm sure it, with her living in Myrtle Beach since she was 14, I guess, 15, I think is what they said, then she knows, she had to have known, because she, from everything I've seen, she seemed very intelligent, that you don't go to that part of, park alone. And, you know, everyone said that she, her family said that she had told them that if she turned up dead, that she did not kill herself. Allegedly. So, I find the case interesting. I'm not really into true crime, but, you know, sometimes some cases will just hit me. And that one just, for whatever reason, hit me. So, I guess they won't charge the husband now unless they find some other evidence. You know, I mean, I'm assuming that he may have not done it. But that doesn't mean he couldn't have paid somebody, allegedly, to do it. So, it's really sad, though, when you really think about it. But it's, it's, for those of you that are into true crime, which I'm sure some of you are, you know, you might find it fascinating, too, or... You know, give me your opinion, what you think about it, in the comments, and I, tr I try to get to every comment. You know, sometimes I'll miss them, but I try to when I have time to go back through and just see what I haven't replied to and see if anybody else has replied to my comment, because those won't show up in the ones not read. So I, I try to get to every comment. I want to try to do that as much as I can. I'm sure there'll come a time that I can't get to all of them, but well, maybe. I'll put it that way. <laughs> I say that. I don't know if there ever will be or not. But as long as I can and I'm able, can type, read, I'm going to try my best to get to every comment. Well, it looks like my boss just got dumped in the Duncan booth. <laughs> so, that's terrible. That's terrible. But, you know, that's what happens when you're a boss. You get dunked in the dunking booth. All right, I gotta go, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you another day. Love you. Bye.